Let's solve the equation y triple prime minus 2y double prime plus y prime equals x using the annihilator method. So in the previous um, video, we solved the same equation using the undetermined coefficients. And we found our solution. Um, and in the previous example, um, in the previous video, we solved the homogeneous equation y triple prime minus 2y double prime plus y prime equals 0, and we find the general solution to be um, c1 plus c2 e to the x plus c3x e to the x. So in this case, let's use the annihilator method to solve our equation. So if you remember, the annihilator method involves uh, using the operator d, and the operator d was defined to mean d dx and d squared is d squared dx squared um, and d3 is d cubed dx cubed so um, let's integrate that in our problem now we also want to find out what function annihilates x so how does x disappear what should we apply to x to make it zero so if we have this function f of x equals x, f prime of x is actually 1 and f double prime of x equals 0. So basically what do we notice? We notice that the second derivative of x with respect to x is actually 0 or we can say that d squared applied to x is going to be 0. It annihilates the x. So this is a good result to keep in mind. So now going back to our problem, let's call it problem star or equation star. Let's rewrite our equation or the left hand side using the operators. So this is going to look like this. d cubed minus 2d squared plus d, everything applied to y equals x. Or we also learned that this can be written d times or composition d minus 1 squared apply to y equals x right because if we factor out d let's say we get d squared minus 2d plus 1 which can be combined into d minus 1 squared now we also saw that d squared applied to x equals 0 so what if we apply d squared to this last equation that we wrote we are going to get d cubed Composition d minus 1 squared applied to y equals 0. And we know how to solve this type of equations. We know that this can be written d cubed applied to y equals 0 or d minus 1 squared applied to y equals 0. Now d squared applied to y means the third derivative of y with respect to x equals 0 or in other words r cubed equals 0 or we can say r equals 0, triple solution, triple solution, or multiplicity uh, 3. And the same thing happens here, y uh, d minus 1 squared, it's actually um, y double prime minus 2y prime plus y equals 0 or r squared minus 2r plus 1 equals 0, or r minus 1 squared equals 0, or r equals 1, double solution. So having these two results here, let's translate that into um, solutions. So r equals 0 is a triple solution. That means y of x is going to look like this, c1 plus... Um, c2 x plus c3 x squared why because the term e to 0 x it's actually 1 and then plus r equals 1 double solution means c4 e to x plus c5 x e to the x so if you remember the last video that we um looked at the one where we were solving the homogeneous equation the piece where we have a constant this time maybe the constants are slightly different but 
where we have the term e to the x and then the term c3x e to the x so this time it's a different constant here but no problem and the constant alone these three terms are actually creating our general solution or the solution to the homogeneous equation this is what that is so what is left these two terms are going to be our particular solution c2x plus c3x squared so now what does this annihilator method help us find it helps us find the particular solution without um, actually calculating the um, undetermined coefficients but let's think of the undetermined coefficients so with undetermined coefficients with let's make this a little bit bigger with the method undetermined coefficients we actually got that the particular solution is one half x squared plus two x so the problem with the annihilator is that it doesn't give me the constants right so in the uh, undetermined coefficients we actually know what the constants are so how are we going to find the constants so our goal now is to find c2 and c3 because those are the constants of the particular solution so how do we do that well all we have to do is replace the particular solution into our equation star and set and uh, equate them and find c2 and c3 so basically the particular solution prime is c2 plus 2c3 the particular solution double prime is um, 2c3x is 2c3 and the particular solution triple prime is 0 so when we replace this y's into star we get what we get y triple prime that's 0 then minus 2y double prime so minus 4c3 plus y prime so plus c2 plus 2c3x equals x so then again the coefficient of x from this side equals the coefficient from this side so 2c3 equals 1 c3 equals a half and c2 minus 4 c3 equals 0 because on this side we have 0 so c2 equals 4 c3 which actually means 2 so the particular solution is c2 which is 2x plus c3 so plus 1 half x squared so we got exactly the same thing as we did uh, in the previous problem so the solution to this equation is c1 plus c4 e to the x plus c5 x e to the x plus 1 over 2x squared plus 2x so the annihilator we have to do one step further to actually find the constants now how are we going to find c1 c4 and c5 how are we going to find these constants well to find these we need initial value problem so we need initial conditions 